Paul Chirov Galer, Hig Bronu Negemena, Feha Feha, in Institute Technoliachta Limnach. Welcome to Limerick Institute of Technology's Conferring Ceremony 2020. Graduates from LIT's five campuses, from here at Moilish in Limerick, from the Limerick School of Art and Design, from the LIT campus in Thurles, County Tipperary, the digital campus in Clonmel, County Tipperary, and LIT's newest campus in Ennis, County Clare. Join us now for this momentous occasion. Akara, Falter of Goler, Quick Service Game, Fair as Fair, It's to Technology Limni. Friends, welcome to the 2020 LIT graduation ceremonies. Though life has changed in this year's graduation year, one thing has not our care for you. Graduations are at the heart of the cycle of renewal at LIT. They mark you moving on to a new phase in life and recognise your achievements in getting to this day. We are marking this most important of occasions in the best way that circumstances allow and hope that you and your families and friends enjoy the celebration. Let me begin by introducing you to the members of the conferring panel. Mr Tony Brazel, Chairman, Governing Body, LIT. Professor Vincent Ganan, President, LIT. And I am Marion Duggan, Vice President for Academic Affairs and Registered at LIT. So though we are apart today, we are together in our community. As you just heard, that was Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar, Marion Duggan. We will now hear from Chair of the Governing Body of LIT, Mr. Tony Brazel. President, ladies and gentlemen and graduates, on behalf of the governing body, it's my great pleasure to welcome you today. This, of course, is a most unusual graduation in the most extraordinary of circumstances for a most deserving class. So it is in an especially great pleasure to be with you on such an important day and for you and your families and those who have supported you and indeed for LIT. This is indeed a red letter day for all of us. I wish to recognise the efforts of the class of 2020 and all the LIT staff not only over the course of your programme here, but particularly since the pandemic reached our shores in March. You have shown all remarkable resilience, leadership and the ability to adapt in adversity. This will stand you all in good stead in the future. And we in the governing body believe that the standard of your exams and your work is as high as ever, despite the circumstances. Very significant work was undertaken in LIT to support the community and those of you who are in your final year when the pandemic struck. This included the ability to move all teaching and your final assessments online, something that would have been almost unthinkable until it had to be done. But it also included additional student supports, a major increase in the Student Assistance Fund extra funding for mental health and for students with disabilities. It was perhaps fortuitous 
that the government had established the new dedicated Department of Further Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science earlier this year under Minister Simon Harris. This allowed 168 million to be, euros to be distributed in our sector to help maintain your education and the education of those who come after you by providing those supports. And we got a generous portion of that sum of money. Your experience is the heart of what we do and it is what we will always do, no matter the circumstances. This will remain true as we move towards our technological university status, which is very close at hand, which will strengthen the benefits we, we can bring to students, their families and to their communities. Today is, as I said before, a red letter day for you and your families. You have your qualification now and I hope you all enjoy the day. I wish you every success in your future endeavours and hope that as alumni you will continue to support your institution well into the future. Thank you very much and congratulations. The President of LIT, Professor Vincent Kinane, will now give his address. Akarja, to as an old arm, we and show you, I was white lumber kid me like falcha a cur of galair. Friends, you're welcome to this most unique of graduation ceremonies. Graduation is a very special event in the academic year. It is the day we celebrate the achievements of our students, now graduates. It is the culmination of applying to the college, the year spent in study, and then coming out on the far side, a graduate. It is always a time for celebration. Unfortunately, instead of us being physically together, we can only be together digitally this time. You and I have journeyed together since your beginning here. I started in LIT in September 2016, and I was with you in the same Millennium Theatre on your first days in LIT. I am particularly proud of you, the class of 2020, and I really wanted to be together with you again today at the end of that journey. Instead, you have faced the most extraordinary of circumstances during your final year of study. You have come through it and shown resilience. You have learnt new skills along the way. Online learning, online assessment, the wider digital learning. These are the skills of the future. You have begun your continued professional development before you even finish college. You, the class of 2020, have shown extraordinary qualities that will stand you in good stead in your lives and your careers. And you should be proud and confident. I am proud of you and have great confidence in you. You now join the community of LIT graduates with the highest employability rate outside of Dublin of all higher education institutions. Sought after by employers and carrying the skills and values that will propel our society into the future. And your future is very bright despite COVID-19. The pandemic has shown us how intertwined our lives are and how our society is built. We are all interdependent. We are all part of something bigger. We all have a role to play for the society we live in. You will bring your qualities into that society and everyone will benefit from that. And here in LIT, our community is intertwined and interdependent. I am so proud of all the staff here, our cleaners, our restaurant staff, our academic staff, our support staff. We have all taken care of each other in LIT. The LIT community have gone above and beyond at every turn shown ingenuity, innovation, adaptability, and all the time keeping the student at the center of what we do. I am proud of each and every member of the LIT staff, and I wish to publicly thank you all on this most important of our days. The educational tradition that we carry stretches back to the Limerick Athenaeum in 1852, with this mission of educating everyone who would benefit from that education, 
regardless of background. We have held on to that tradition through generations of staff and students. It is something that you should all hold on to, should all be proud of. But this is also a very emotional time for LIT as well. You, the graduates of 2020, are the last to graduate from LIT because we expect to become a technological university from next year. This current iteration of our heritage, Limerick Institute of Technology, will cease to be. And while we don't yet know what the next iteration will be called, we do know what the values of our new institution will be. A continued commitment to our students, to our staff, to support students on their very journeys, to offer higher education to all who would benefit from it at every level, to applied learning and applied research. All of these things are imprinted on our psyche now and will be into the future. The new TU will be built on the shoulders of those who have gone before us in our tradition. We know our spirit, and that spirit is yours now. It is what has enabled our staff and students to bring us into a new era by meeting the stringent standards required of a technological university. And already, we have taken a lead role in the formation of RUN-EU, the regional university network, a federation of like-minded, applied universities in regions across Europe, dedicated, like us, to bringing opportunity to the people of their heartlands. Whatever the new TU is called, at its heart is that heritage. And remember that you, the last graduates of LIT, will also be part of this new institution. It will still be your institution. All of this is for the future. But as Mahatma Gandhi said, the future depends on what we do in the present. And your present now is about your achievement, your hard work, your perseverance, your talent, and your resilience. Congratulations to all of you about to graduate, and to your families and friends who supported you in this journey. I also extend my thanks and appreciation. It's time to celebrate safely and enjoy. Kohardes Goler, August Gormila Mai August Goler. You will now hear from the Dean of Limerick School of Art and Design, Mr. Mike Fitzpatrick. On behalf of the staff of Limerick School of Art and Design, Welcome to our online graduation. Today we celebrate your achievement. It's a very special day for you, your families, your friends, your loved ones, the people who supported your journey and your success. We've all had a year like no other, and your journey has been very challenging to, to so cherish this achievement. As creative graduates, you developed your own creative pathway and you achieved a high academic standard. As the graduates of 2020, you really broke the mould. You had to switch methods and means to achieve your uh, learning outcomes. And you did that magnificently. You were resilient, flexible, and most of all, you, you were able to succeed. Now, I'd like you to use that flexibility as the most important tool you have at your disposal for the rest of your life. Can I thank in your behalf the entire academic technical and administrative staff for their unstinting support, particularly in this year. Can I also invite you to party, like it's 1999, but in 2020 style. My heartiest congratulations and thank you for being LSAD. Our Kionni Institute, grown on Dark Noctani, our Aulamori Institute, Tataresh and Kagden Shin Awanchamak. On behalf of the Institute, I hereby confer awards 
on the learners of the Institute who have achieved the standard for those awards. The Head of Department of Design, Mr James Greenslade, will read the names of the graduates to be conferred. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Art and Design, Department of Design, and are worthy of the award. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Design in Ceramic Design, Gemma Kirby, Aoife McQuillan, Mary Murphy, Katrina O'Donoghue, Lauren O'Keefe, Olivia Roviskovza, Bernadette Sherwood, Kathleen Sweeney, and Lily Wadley. The Bachelor of Arts Honours in Design in Graphic Design Communication. Farouk Alou, Neve Alouf, Olivia Barrett, Tara Burke, Catherine Butler, Alan Byrne, Karen Casey, Claire Dillon, Galen Donoghue, Ryan Drain, Arlen Ellis, E. Lee Go, Wee Jing Hu, May Hoy, Stephen Jennings, Anya Lenehan, Shay McKenna, Anne Murray, Connor O'Brien, Caroline O'Flynn, Anya O'Neill, Megan O'Neill, Luke O'Sullivan, Timothy O'Sullivan, Janae Quek, Robin Sprule, Isabel Staunton, Ellie Stone, Jade Stone, and William Waldron. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Design in Fashion Design, Christiana Adameo, Tulu Ahmed Oliedi, Paddy Bartley, Jamie Caron, Bei Chaya Jing, Cassandra de Cruyff, Martin Dolan, Megan Easton, Claire Foley, Marta Glitch, Kira Hoban, Sarah Keeney, Hannah Larkin, Nisha Madigan, Neve Marshall, Ashling McGinn, Orla Malia, Bernice Misho, Michaela Monaghan, Anya Milan, Ruth O'Byrne, Aoife O'Dwyer, Evine O'Reardon, Mwerin O'Reardon. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Design in Animation and Motion Design. Kira Basford, Marta Boniscova, Jane Carmody, Sive de Butler Kearney, Rachel Dempsey, Gunjan Deer, Pavel Dismira, Patrick Freely, Amy Garvey, Polly Holland, Jonar Mamaril, Juliet McGrath, Senan Murray, Sean Parnell, Karina Ribakova, Jennifer Ryan Kelly, Kieran Ryder, and Modestus Salvas. Bachelor of Arts Honours in Fashion, Knitwear and Textiles. Fiona Brogan, Elizabeth Doyle, Sophia Esmeir, Namia Gabrov, Michelle Hartnett, Emma Higgins, Mariam Hussein, Kieran Johnson, Dervila McIlvany, Haley O'Sullivan, Quiva Roach, Mario Rodriguez Griffin, Renee Said. The Bachelor of Science in Creative Broadcast and Film Production, Adnan Ahmad, Melissa Collins, Paige Cook, Ronan Falvey, 
Fiona Galvin, Jake Gilligan, Jamie Griffin, Juliet Grufferty, Terry Irwin, Adam Littlewood, Cahill Malone, Amy O'Brien, Matthew O'Dwyer, Billy Ralph, and Dylan Ryan Phelan. The Bachelor of Science Honours in Creative Broadcast and Film Production. Christopher Behan, Mark Bergen, Jamie Baran, Matthew Bridgeland, Carol Caulfield, Jamie Cusack, Michael Desmond, Cameron Franken, Edward Hannon, Gavin Lyons, Nathan O'Connor, Sean O'Donoghue, and Liliana Wachyskowska. Bachelor of Science in Music Technology and Production. Christopher Britton, Thomas Callan, Lilia Connolly, Daniel Crean, Dylan Flynn, Keegan Ford, Alan Hogan, Matthew Kinsella, Daniel Matthews, Mark Mulcahy, Gavin Murray, Ivan Murray, Kieran Nevin, Colin O'Donoghue, Sean O'Dowd Monaghan, Cahal Reck, and Malachi Ryan. The Bachelor of Science Honours in Music Technology and Production. George Broadbank, Sean Coffey, Aileen Creedon, Patrick Mark Duffy, Jamie Dumas, Adam Dwyer, Finbar Egan, Eli Farnhill, Anya Flaherty, Kevin Garland, Rysard Itzak, Connor McMurrow, Isabel Nelson, Dylan O'Mahony, Rebecca Taylor, Katie Walsh, and Anthony White Jr. The Bachelor of Science in Creative Media and Design, Clan Mel, Martina Barthova, Corey O'Dwyer, Riley Orla. The Bachelor of Science in Creative Multimedia, Lim Hu Tang. The Bachelor of Science Honours in Creative Multimedia, Dara Connolly, Rachel Dunleavy, Emma Lucy, Connor O'Mahony. And the Bachelor of Science Honours in Digital Animation Production, Amy Anderson, Tyg Briody, Jessica Cheeseman, Ariana Coor Mungo, Claire Davis, Myra Grood, Amy Harrington, Victoria Kupek, Carla McKnight, Leslie Ann McMahon, Duran Morrissey, Saivo Flynn, Senan O'Sullivan, Caitlin Oram Olson, Megan Roberts, Elaine Russell, Robert Stanley. The Bachelor of Science in Game Art and Design, Liam Faherty. The Bachelor of Science Honours in Game Art and Design, Stephen Bulger, Ben Burke, Caitlin Chung, Chi Yi, Daniel Collins, Aaron Conlon, Alexandra Coyne, Saiv Flanagan, Susanna Krupa, Francisco de Borgia Lopez Montes, Dominika Leszkowska, Arminas Meskuskas, Connor Mulcahy, Andrew Norton, Limo Reardon, Avian Percy Redmond, and Dermot Sheehan. To the graduates of LSAD 2020, on behalf of myself and all the staff of the design department, we congratulate you on your achievements over the past four years, and we wish you the very best of luck as you enter onto the global stage of art and design as ambassadors of Limerick School of Art and Design. The very best of luck. Now a final word from Vice President of Academic Affairs and Registrar, Ms. Marion Duggan. 
Congratulations to you all on your graduation. Today is your day, your moment in the spotlight. The qualification you now hold is something that no one can ever take away from you. You earned its currency and you deserve the opportunities it will bring to you. I am conscious too of the staff at LIT in all functions who have been part of your journey as well as all of those who've helped you along the way. Your family, your friends, your partners, your wide circle of support. Graduation serves to mark our graduates joining the community of LIT alumni. But this ceremony has been all about you. As the President has said, we are all interconnected, now as much as ever. So be brave, take risks, Nothing can substitute experience. Thank you all. Enjoy your day. Goromahagov, Akarda, Agus Winotanov, Astala. That brings us to the end of the conferring ceremony here at Limerick Institute of Technology. Congratulations to the LIT class of 2020. Cohorticus le gatin adiv as kim wanchamach agus ganairi antalev sithauchich.